X-Chrome is an entirely new way to process black and white photos in Lightroom. It gives you access to the magic and the power of a real black and white darkroom and puts it all at your fingertips. And the way that it does this is it's not just a film emulator, it also gives you access to uh, uh, different chemical developers and paper and toner styles as well. And the three of these things, the film, the developer, and the paper, interact with each other in unique ways and create incredible looks. So let me just show you a few examples. Here I'll use uh, HP5 at 1600. I'll then use Kodak HC110, which is going to uh, make it darker and more dramatic. And then finally, I'm gonna use a selenium number two as a toner. So you can see the before and after there, just how much uh, those three simple steps have transformed this image. Here, I'll start off with uh, something a little bit more dramatic, the Kodak Tri-X at 6400. I'll use Kodak x one one/2, which is gonna give it uh, just a little bit more of a modern, bright look. And then I'll use Ilford Warm Tone paper. And I can actually use the Ilford Warm Tone matte, which is going to uh, bring those tones into uh, some of the darker areas in the image and just give it a little bit more of a matte feel. X-Chrome can also bring incredibly smooth tonalities to your photos. So it's not just great at these super high contrast looks, but it also does a tremendous job of uh, bringing a smooth tonality to your photos in cases that could otherwise look uh, uh, fake and HDR-ish. Uh, this actually brings out a very smooth tonal response rate and I built all new camera calibration profiles um, that, uh, that gives you access to wider range of, of what your camera sensor is capable of producing. And that's part of what brings out um, this ability to get a uh, wider tonal range in your photos in a way that's more natural. It's also got some really interesting uh, film varieties that I haven't seen in other packs. I've included Polaroid Type 55, which was one of Ansel Adams' favorite films to use. And it's easy to see why. It has this incredible acuity, incredible even tonality, but it still has uh, this, this punch and kind of emphasizes the lower end of tones a little bit more than, than say, something like a, uh, like a Fuji Neopan would. And I'll just put this on a fine art photo rag satin paper that's been, uh, that's a natural tint. So it's a little bit of an ivory coming through in the clouds and uh, super even. Uh, response in the rest of the photo. And this is really just scratching the surface. There's 15 different uh, film varieties. There's uh, three different developers at two different uh, strengths. And there's over 20 different toners and papers. So whatever kind of look you want to build, uh, there is a way to do that with X-Chrome. So I really hope that you guys will check out X-Chrome. Uh, let me know what you think. I know that you guys are gonna love it. Uh, hit me up in the comments or email me to let me know what you think.